Let me show you in this video how to bring an SVG vector icon into PowerPoint from start to finish. I've basically got a question from a student that he downloaded icons from, from the web, some free icons. Those icons were in SVG and he couldn't bring them into PowerPoint. Now, most icons on most websites are in the SVG format. It doesn't matter if you use a free vector website or for example flat icon where you have a PNG and an SVG or for example icon finder which I also very like. You also have icons here in PNG and SVG. This is the common format, common vector format for icons. From start to finish let me download the set that the student tried to use and I'm downloading this on my PC. It has arrived on my desktop and this is a zip folder. If you cannot open zip folders, you need to use software like WinRAR or if you have newer versions of Windows or on the Mac, you can simply unpack those files. I use WinRAR because I'm used to it and I'm just selecting unpack here. Now a big package with the icons, oh, uh, all the folders opened here. And we have a bunch of formats, EPS, PDF, PNG, AI, PSD, SVG. So this icon set is really comprehensive because it comes along with all formats. If you happen to use, I go to file account, if you happen to use the newest version of PowerPoint, which is Microsoft 365, currently 2019, but any newer versions will do, you can use SVG icons straight away and import them into PowerPoint like this. They could be imported right away. You can right click group, ungroup, you click yes and you have a ready vector icon here in PowerPoint, which is this arrow. If you happen to have PowerPoint 2007, 2010, 2013, 2016, you need to convert this SVG into EMF. EMF is the format that the older versions of PowerPoint understand. So let me show you how to do this. The easiest way, it will not work on 100% cases, but the easiest way would be to use cloudconvert.com. There is a chance that this website looks different as you watch this tutorial, but I'm just selecting like SVG to EMF. All right, I'm selecting this. Uh, I've uh, converted another file, add more files. Right now from my desktop, I will select SVG, the icon I wanted. Uh, let's say that this is the icon, convert to EMF. Okay, and in a matter of a couple of seconds, I will be able to download this new icon converted into EMF. MF. Sadly, this is the only format that the older versions of PowerPoint were able to read. And let me close that down. You can see I have a new converted icon, which is EMF. I bring it here and we have the same result. I can right click, group, ungroup. And this is a working vector file right here inside of PowerPoint. Okay, I have many groups here, so I would just move this around. I would go to again, group, ungroup. This is a matter of layering, layering the vectors. I would just delete the background and I would have an icon, which I can go to shape format, shape fill, and I can change the shape because this is now a native PowerPoint shape, which I can edit. If you are using PowerPoint for Mac, it's very difficult even to bring the EMF format in PowerPoint version 2011 and 2016. If you use the PowerPoint for Mac version, I strongly suggest that you use PowerPoint at least 2019 or it would be best if you are on the Microsoft 365 subscription, because the newest version, same as in the Windows version, you can simply drag and drop SVG images without any converting. You just go with an SVG image, you paste it here into PowerPoint and it will work. Thank you very much for listening. If you'd like to learn more PowerPoint like that with me, you have of course links to my online courses down below in the description. But for now, I'm signing off. I hope you've learned something new today and see you in other tutorials.